Hello, everybody. Today, we will explore the three Shire Heads in Axe Edge Moor. These places are in the Peak District of England, a national park known for its stunning landscapes. Can you go further down? Yeah. In my language, you say cascada. Be careful of uh, moving. Hi. When you put your hand legs here, yeah. you will be sleeping. And you go like this, see? You go like this. Like that. Okay. No go straight after you go like yeah, I'm you sleep or after. Uh, do we go down the path or go down. Go down. Go down. Okay. 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 To the gate then. This is a picturesque location where three historic counties meet, Cheshire, Derbyshire, and Staffordshire. It is marked by a small pack horse bridge over the River Dane and is a popular spot for walkers and photographers. The nearest village is Flash, which is England's highest village. The River Wye rises to the north of Axe Edge Moor and flows through the town of Buxton. It is one of the Peak District's most picturesque rivers known for its clear water and scenic limestone valleys before joining the River Derwent. People visit Three Shire Heads and Axe Edge Moor for several reasons, primarily due to their natural beauty, historical significance, and outdoor recreational opportunities. When I saw the dog, eventually he might put it out, but when he yeah. said, oh, we need to get it do we? <laughs> you say so. The natural environment in Three Shire Heads and Axe Edge Moor is diverse and characteristic of the rugged landscapes of the Peak District. The area offers a mix of moorland, rivers, valleys, and grasslands, supporting a wide range of flora and fauna. The River Dane flows through three Shire heads, creating small waterfalls and pools framed by rocky outcrops and grassland. The clear river and surrounding water features make this area popular for people to enjoy peaceful riverside walks or even dip in the natural pools during warmer months. 
The grasslands are home to wildflowers, grasses, and heather, offering a natural habitat for various species of birds and insects. I know and I can imagine. Some areas around three share heads are covered with low growing heather, particularly on the higher hills. During late summer, the purple heather blooms, transforming the landscape. Wildlife, the combination of riverbanks, grasslands, and moorland makes it a good habitat for various wildlife. Birds like lapwings, curlews, and kestrels can often be seen, along with mammals like hares and rabbits. Aquatic species such as fish and amphibians live in the river. I love your nails, by the way. Do they do they shine in the in the night? So if it, if, it, if it goes dark and you like that, you know, people yeah. will be able to see us. No, she will be able to scare me after. <laughs> <laughs> no good. No good. I know. You don't want to be scared. You know, if you was black. She was black. I do black next time. No, black and the red, <laughs> the, not the skin, I mean, the color. Oh, if you were black and you had these nails, yeah. Uh, if you was we like that. Romania, we were not yes. black then. I, I, I am pretty sure. Not like that one from the front, but. Uh, <laughs> but all, all from Malaysia, they, are, uh, they have that color. <laughs> they don't have white people in, in Malaysia. Yeah. Well, the descendants of British people and their minority. Yes, but Malaysia is made up of um, Chinese, uh, Indians, and oh, it's like a mix, and Indonesia, I think. So you know, they're either you know the the, the Southeastern Asian race, or you know, in other words, either Indian or Chinese. Let's simplify it, although it's not that simple. Mm, yeah. In other words, yes, they're not white. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. A lot of smokers. This is the first path that I've seen so many cigarettes. Yeah, because it's not that uh, hard to do it. Yeah, it's easy, so people smoke. <laughs> the high elevation and rainfall create areas of peaty soil and wet bogland. These bogs are rich in plant species like sphagnum moss, cotton grass, and bog asphodel, which thrive in the acidic, waterlogged conditions. The wetlands are important habitats for amphibians and water-loving birds. Several rivers, including the River Dove and River Manifold, have their sources on Axe Edge Moor. The springs and small streams trickling down the moor feed into these rivers, which eventually flow into scenic valleys and gorges below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.